It was author T.S. Eliot who wrote, April is the cruelest month. The weather can impact our mood and our happiness, and it's not just your imagination. It's actually science. <laughs> Christine Whelan is a clinical professor in the UW Department of Consumer Science. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Thanks. Good to be back. You made Got your it. boots on? I do. I have my boots on. <laughs> good for you. So there is, this is really a thing. It's not just in our heads that That's this gets right. us down. So we expect that April, the flowers are supposed to be coming out. We expect it's going to be nice, warm weather. And the reason why we're so bummed is because our expectations have been dashed. So it's not the weather. It it's not it's the our, weather. It is our expectations about what the weather is supposed to be like. If this were January, we wouldn't be talking about the weather, right? Mm -hmm. This would just be another day in January. Yeah, five, six inches of snow, no big deal. No big deal. But now we are horrified. And it's really impacting our happiness. Because when you have something that you have a little taste of, we had a nice little taste yeah. of good weather, and then it is taken away from you, well, that hurts a lot more than if you never had it at all. What are some of the actual uh, studies and theories that have looked at this topic? So one of the studies is, is called the sort of would I be happier living in California kind of experiment, right? So we all think that if you're living in nice weather, yeah. yes, would you, would you be happier yeah, yeah, living in California? Right now. Aruba, Curacao. That would be lovely, yeah. wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. However, if you lived in California or Aruba for a long time, unfortunately, you would find something else to be upset about. And this is called the theory of hedonic adaptation. So we get used to the good stuff, and then we kind of take it for granted. And then we find something else to be worried about. It's like someone who lives by the ocean and never goes to the beach. Exactly, because they... it's just in the background. But we have something that's working in our favor here in Madison, right? So this wonderful weather is actually kind of scarce. And we have those prime, wonderful days when it's sunny and warm. We know how to treasure those. A taxi driver once said to me that the best way to get through a Madison winter is to enjoy every moment of summer. And that really is embracing another theory called scarcity theory. So if you don't have a lot of it, you want more of it. So wh what are some tips to get through a day like today? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you could go one of two ways. You could do what I'm doing right now, which is I have a big pot of chili in a slow cooker, and I'm just going to have a lot of comfort food and, um, and That's snuggle what I up. That's yeah. right? Pretend it's January. Pretend it's January. Or you could do what I did last night, which was the complete opposite, which was just to put on light clothes and pretend it's spring <laughs> and, uh, and just ignore the whole thing, right? You could go one of two ways. I think either way, know that spring is around the corner, and when it comes, you will appreciate it that much more because of what we're going through. Right that's now. true. That's, that's yeah, very the, true. The first really nice day, you go to the park and it's packed. People are in shorts. That's right. Running around, throwing frisbees. Absolutely. So let's be appreciative of what's to come, and you know, snuggle up tonight. And really, I mean, what can you do about it? There's, it's totally out of your control. So does, should that make it easier to accept that there's really nothing you can do but embrace it? Theoretically, that is supposed to make it easier to accept. But for those of us who want to control everything, that just makes us more anxious, right? It drives us crazy if we actually can't control the weather. But we can't. Um, so, you know, we can say that there's no such thing as bad weather, just bad choices of clothing, <laughs> bad choices of things to, to do out in the weather. I actually sent my kids out with, uh, with all their snow gear on and their sleds and said, this is probably the last time. Yes, I know I said that to you two days ago. <laughs> this is really probably the last time. Enjoy it. Let's just have fun. One of our directors, she's wearing all of her Christmas sweaters this week. Oh, I like that. So Maybe Santa Claus is coming to town nice once more. <laughs> let's, let's hope not. And another person said, I'm not shoveling. No. It's going to melt. It is. It's going to melt tomorrow. Optimist. See, this is optimism yes. at work, yes. right? It's going to warm this up. This too shall pass. This too <laughs> shall pass, and we will enjoy spring that much more because of the snow today. That's true. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's it. Happiness is ahead. Thank you for coming in in the crazy <laughs> weather today. Drive I know the roads are It's an adventure. Right. Good to see you. Good to see you, too.